Hey guys, welcome back to Curve Cut. Welcome back to the Good Skin channel. So I love my new lights, but one thing that I can't get with my new light, it's a natural finished makeup look or a natural finished whatever because the lights are so bright you can't really see my skin this color my skin looks perfect my skin is all those things and because i wanted to do a foundation routine i wanted it to look natural so that you guys can see that my skin has its own up and ups and downs so i hope that today is the last time i'm actually filming this because i'm tired of filming refilming i even literally posted it onto youtube and it was just not the quality that i wanted and i was like i can't post something that i don't believe in i can't post something that i don't like so i have to go back again and do it so to Today I'm redoing the look, I'm redoing my foundation routine and let's just cross our fingers that it goes well. So stay tuned and watch. <laughs> so we're just going to go through some of the products that I actually use to do my foundation and uh, to actually achieve that natural glow that I usually have when you see me in my pictures with my makeup. So I'm not a makeup artist but guys I have watched so many YouTube videos, so many channels, so many gurus and what what. One thing I don't like about filming right here even though the light is so perfect is that I don't have the table for my mirror so I have to look down quite a bit so sorry guys. We are going to begin by priming my face and my favorite is this one which is the baby skin. It is from Maybelline and it's an instant pore eraser and I do have quite large pores so I like this because it helps me with the pore situation. So you guys can see up close and personal the results of this uh, pore eraser by Maybelline. So one thing that I wanted to say is that the secret to good makeup for me is to not use a mattifying primer or if you use a mattifying primer you don't use a mattifying foundation you don't use a mattifying everything because what happens is that once you apply everything mattifying on your face so your skin starts to react to all that dryness and then it produces oil so the secret is to actually balance out how much mattifying you're doing because with oily skin the more you're mattifying it the more you're making it dry the more oil your skin is going to produce now i'm going to apply my foundation and i'm using this nyx total control drop foundation which i love and i know it's a little darker than me or for me but uh, I've, I've, I've been advised that darker makeup actually covers your spots much better than lighter makeup so I'll be using this on the outside area of my face and then I'll be using the Estee Lauder foundation this is the double wear uh, stay in place makeup and this one I'll be using it on the t-zones of my face so basically this will be to highlight and then this will be to just cover up everything else I really love this uh, foundation brush from Switch Beauty and uh, the only problem is this it's broken so I have to figure out finding some glue or something to put it together but I like the surface and I like the bristles and I like how it applies my foundation this foundation taught me a lesson when it dripped all over my clothes <laughs> I love the coverage I get from this foundation by NYX. The coverage is amazing. And um, you can see the difference between here and here. I just really, really love the coverage. So I'm not really focusing a lot of foundation in the middle. I am still putting it, but I know that I'm going to apply another foundation in the middle So. And guys, I live by less is more so i really like less everything on my face i'm not really crazy about having a lot of things on my face first of all it feels very strange to me my face feels heavy my face feels crowded and i don't like that so i always 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 want to apply very little or as little as i can apply i mean you can see the coverage is really good but i don't mind having a couple of or some molds showing because my skin is my skin and I don't want to hide it in all the makeup. I'm going to put a little more here and uh, this foundation is in the shade Coco. So after that to highlight my face I could have used this MAC Pro Conceal highlighting and um, correcting palette but uh, it's a little creamy so I have been avoiding it and I have been using my total wear, my double wear stain place foundation by Estee Lauder instead. 
So I'm going to apply this in the middle of my face as you would a highlighter. I'm just going to take my finger and put this right here. You can see how much lighter it is than me. It was a huge mistake and foundation is too expensive these days to waste so I decided I'm going to use it anyway. Just applying a little bit down here because I am going to contour. I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to soak it in my MAC Fix Plus but you can also use water. So for me the wetter my sponge is the better then I'm going to blend this foundation as a highlighter. I'm gonna apply some on my eyelids even though I didn't use a concealer but I'm concealed enough by the two foundations so I guess this is my way of just saving money <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna actually blend my entire face with the wet sponge because I want to take it down a couple of notches because <laughs> I don't want it to be too much so there we are this for me is perfect, it's amazing, it's bomb, it's everything. <laughs> so I have quite a few setting powders and powders and all that and, and whatnot. So these are my setting powders. You have the Laura Messier, you have the Sasha Buttercup and Black Opal Finishing Deluxe Powder and then the black opal uh, invisible blocking powder. Now I like this one because it helps me for my oiliness and then this one is just nice and gives me my skin a very nice color. That one tends to be a little yellow so mm -hmm. and I like to use the L'Oreal Merci on its own without any foundation on. But these are all my setting powders. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set my highlight with my Sasha Buttercup or I'm going to set the areas where I put the Estee Lauder. Just a little bit because the Sasha Buttercup is a bit yellow or it's not even a bit, it's very yellow. So you don't want to look yellow, okay? You just want to look fine. I don't bake because I just, I've never felt like it was necessary for me to bake every single day. So, um, but if you bake, you would take this, the chance now to bake. I have to be gentle in closing these things because they go all over my clothes. So I'm just gonna use this sponge to work the Sasha Buttercup into my skin or to blend it in. I like these sponges because they have an angle and I can basically just focus it where I need it. As you can see, I've turned a little yellow. <laughs> but what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take that Black Opal Invisible Blocking Powder and use it all over my face. And to do that, I am using my Real Techniques powder brush. I just test it first before I start to blend because sometimes I pick up too much. And I'm just gonna blend this into all over my face. Okay, so now that's done, all my powders are in place. I'm going to bronze my face a bit with my, this is the Beauty Treats, you know the Beauty Treats brand from Discam. I really love this bronzer, I have used it for very long, I've been so in love with it and I use it to contour my face so I'm going to powder contour. I prefer to powder contour than to contour um, with uh, cream because I feel like the cream, I just don't set it well, I haven't really learned to set it very well so I avoid using that so the powder for me is the next best thing. I'll take this Face Expert brush by um, Real Techniques and I'm going to apply this on my contour areas. I just like that it's not too dark. It's got a good balance or a good pigment or it's just not too dark for me. You see, it's just dark enough. Let's hide the double chin. <laughs> So because I have a, a chubby face, I, I like to elongate my face a little, so I focus my contour right here to make my face look a little longer. Yeah, I'm just gonna blend. And I like to apply some of my contour powder right here. I also like to use this contour brush by Switch Beauty. I like that flat and, and just the way it's so small and nice for my face. 
but for my nose I'm going to use this brush from uh, Cypria and this is a nice shadow brush and I hope I haven't used it and I'm gonna use that to blend some contour or bronzing powder on my nose and that's all so just before I go and finish off my makeup I am going to set all my powders in place with my D stick uh, this is the Urban Decay D stick makeup setting spray and this one is mattifying so I'm going to mattify my face and I'm gonna finish all my makeup up and then because this is just a foundation routine I'll do everything off camera and then come back to you guys and show you um, the end product and uh, whatever else I have left to do <laughs> I love this stuff <laughs> okay so I'm gonna go finish off my makeup and then I'll be right back before I put the finishing touches to my makeup I consider highlighting a part of my foundation routine right so to highlight today I am going to use my LA girl velvet blush contour stick and I really love this because it's so simple to use it's very nice and light and I, all I do is I apply some on my finger and then put this on the highest point of my face show you guys this is what it looks like it's just nice and light for every day I'm gonna put some right here on my lip or my cupid's bow and I'm gonna put a little more here because highlight is supposed to make you glow so now that I'm done the crazy thing that I do is that I apply another facial mist and this time I go for the fix plus and the difference between this and the D stick by uh, Urban Decay is that the D stick actually mattifies but this one moisturizes or keep your makeup in place but doesn't dry out your skin which is why I put this light and last and that's why I actually glow because of this so I'm going to spray my fix plus I spray as much fix plus as I possibly can and I make sure that I'm soaked up. and this is gonna take away that powdery finish of my powders my makeup and everything and then it's gonna make me look natural and glowing but uh, this is me this is it and uh, I hope that the steps were easy I hope that they were simple to understand and I hope that you can recreate it and I can't wait for you to tell me about uh, how it goes so I'm going to leave all the products that I've used in the description box below but guys I'm not gonna leave any links because I'm not a sponsored blogger and I don't want you to access all these companies without them sponsoring me so I'm just trying to encourage them to sponsor me before I give you access to their website and stuff but I'm going to leave the details below so if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe right now I don't know why you're not subscribed and uh, if you really like this video give me a thumbs up and share it to somebody who would like it and if you'd like to see more from me let me know and I'll do more and guys I post one video or two per week because I don't want to saturate my channel with too many videos you're not watching I want to give you a chance and time to watch my videos as they come so that's why I'm not doing like so many videos so I know you're a little worried about consistency but I just don't want to bombard you with videos once again guys thank you so much for watching and it was so lovely having you here and i hope that this quality is gonna be much better than the one before ta-ta see you soon